Hi, this is Vinod Chandan here again from Infinity HVAC. Uh, I've got a very interesting product today. Next generation diaphragm technology from, from Blue Diamond UK. We did a research uh, on conventional drain pumps wherein uh, we found that 10 major problems were faced by engineers. So I will just list you the 10 main problems. The first was voltage fluctuation. The moment the voltage went plus minus more than 10%, the pump conks off, it fails. Second, if there is dust in the system, the piston technology cannot take the dust and the pump fails. If there is um, air in the system, the piston technology cannot take air, it fails. The fourth one was, if the reservoir is not installed properly, if there is an angle to it, it doesn't give a proper signal to the pump. The fifth problem was orientation. Sixth was the magnetic sensor which is there in the reservoir, if it's, sometimes it gets stuck. Seventh problem was, uh, a big issue was the noise. The eighth problem was uh, sludge. Over time, there is sludge formation in the drain pipe, in the drain tray, and the pump fails. The ninth problem was nobody maintains these pumps. The tenth problem was the suction limitation, the distance between the pump and the high wall or ductable machine or, or split unit. So the distance was a problem. So all these 10 problems can be solved with this small genie. I am going to show you how it's done. So I will just show it with you, uh, I will show you with the demo. This is your suction pipe and this side is your discharge pipe. You have to just connect a quarter inch pipe on the suction and a quarter inch pipe on the discharge. How do you connect? You get these reducers along with the pump. So you connect your high wall drain pump, high wall or fan coil unit, drain pipe into this and you cut the balance, whatever you require, the diff different sizes are 3 4 inch, 5 8 inch, half inch, 3 8 etc etc. So you connect that, seal it up and this portion you connect it to this quarter inch pipe and this goes into the suction of the pump and the discharge you can take it and throw it away into the drain pipe. So I have just connected this drain pump with live neutral earthing wire. So with this we are going to discuss all those 10 problems. The first one voltage fluctuation. So this pump can take a lot more abuse of voltage. Number two, if there is dust in the system, it can handle dust as well. Number three, air. I will just show, it, show you the suction is sucking air, water, air, water, no problem. You can see this. The fourth problem was a reservoir. There is no reservoir in this system. So you don't have to bother about that. A fifth is orientation. So you can install this in any angle, 360 degrees, either way, no problem. Sixth problem was the magnetic sensor. There is no magnetic sensor in the system. Seventh problem was noise. As I showed you, when I'm starting it, I have to really feel the pump to ensure it's on. Eighth is sludge. So for sludge, I'm going to I'm going to take this curl and I'm going to put this in this suction line. You can see this. And I'll start this pump. You can see it can handle sludge very easily. Okay, coming back to the ninth problem, which is 
in my opinion a very important point is you don't require any maintenance for these pumps as you can see it can handle curd it can handle sludge sludge so you don't require any maintenance and the last point was suction the suction limitation what you have in conventional pumps so i am going to show you a small demo so i have connected uh, on the suction side maybe 30 40 feet of pipe and also on the discharge side so i am going to start this pump and show you this is what i have started and you can see it is sucking air water air water you can also notice there is no noise whatsoever of the pump so what i am trying to tell you is with this you can keep this pump at of a far away distance maybe say a ah room and the suction can be connected into the co's room which is maybe 30 40 feet away from the ah okay till now whatever pumps you have seen is or uh, you give the power supply the pump comes on you remove the power supply the pump goes off that's okay for normal split units but when it comes to vrvs the manufacturer will not allow you to take the supply from the unit so you require a pump which will be totally independent from the unit so for that we have got uh, this pump which has got this sensor cables as input so what happens whenever there is a temperature difference of 6 degrees between these two uh, sensors the pump is going to start so these sensors you can connect it to the suction and liquid line or you can uh, put it in the supply and return it so whenever there is a temperature difference of 6 degrees it will give a signal to the pump to start what does that mean is there is the pump is the unit is working and there is condensation happening so it gives a signal to the pump to throw the condensed water so we we'll just see a small example with this to create a temperature difference of 6 degrees i have got a glass of ice water and right now i am going to start the power supply but the pump doesn't start because there is no temperature difference the moment i put the blue sensor into the ice water the pump will start you can see it started and the moment i remove this from the ice water the moment i remove this it will stop in some time it stopped so the temperature difference is no more 6 degrees so the pump has stopped so this is a very useful very useful pump for vrv systems in case someone wants to put uh, the drain pump inside the unit you have got this pencil type drain pump also with the same technology you have to just take four precautions when installing these pumps number one is always use a tie at the suction and discharge of the pump two always use the same size quarter inch pipe and three there should not be any leakage between the pump and the unit and four always use this pinch free pipes so even if you pinch it it come back to its normal contour if you found this uh, video helpful drop a like and uh, subscribe for more such videos and till then see you soon and stay safe